Hello. Um, thank you for having me. I'll just start by saying how incredibly brave I think I am. It's not because it's my first teaching meeting presentation. Um, I've left my wife in Cheshire tonight and she's due to give birth today. So if, if, <laughs> if I disappear, you know what's happening. Um, sorry. <laughs> Okay, I just want to talk about student collaboration and uh, perhaps more to the point, um, how, how we can build student teams so they can collaborate better. Um, the first thing I wanted to say, um, works on video, just say it's fine, um, there's a couple of images I put on the hashtag um, earlier today and there's a spinner which I adapted from somebody else's idea, but the spinner has four pictures on it, so on the, um, on the four pictures you've got four faces which means the... Uh, Students are working as a team of four people. On the spinner you've got a, a pair of faces, so A and B, and on the spinner you've got a face with a hand up and a face with a push. And what that means is um, it just helps the students to know what they should be doing. It's not an automatic switch that makes the students do that, but it's um, sort of every little helps, a little marginal learning gain. So um, students know that they're working in a group of four because they saw on the spinner. One way that I also use it to, to manage students a little bit is to, um, when I'm bringing them back together, and I'll say, okay, focus on me, three, two, one, and then I'll move the spinner, and I'm like, shh, so you're listening, or you could go to hands up, which means if you've got something to add to the discussion, then you can have your hand up. So that's the first thing, that it just helps them to know when they should be collaborating and working together. Um, Boggle, which is something that I've taken, yep, yeah, is a team, this was from the Kagan, Book of Cooperative Learning, um, and I took Boggle off the pages and made it into this resource. So um, it works well um, for teams, as, as I'll explain. So for this topic, I've taken a, I've got I've got the blank ones over on the left. So you take a blank one, copy it, paste it, make a new one, and you add the words. So this topic was um, about choosing fuels, um, Year Ten GCSE Science. So I put the words in: hydrogen, um, probably petrol, diesel, and soot in that. And then the teams have to try and um, find as many words as they can and get as many points as they can. You make about prizes or competition points or however you do it. So why it works well is because on the team of four, you need, like, well, in my class, every, every table's got mini whiteboards. So on the team of four, you'll have um, students looking for the words, trying to find them on the Boggle boggles, um, presentation. And you'll have students writing down the words. They've got proof that they found the words. Students scoring as well, so you can see it brings um, numeracy in as well as literacy because to score you need to do the square of the number of letters in, in the word and add 10 points if you think it's a key word from today's lesson. So it gets all students um, engaged with that. So it's a team building activity before we start to go into collaboration later on in the lessons or later on in, um, in the topic. Um, and then Another thing, another idea you might use, um, I put the hashtag TM Solihull on this today, another picture, is a independent learning um, poster. So I think it's important that students can be independent learners before they can contribute to a team and be collaborative uh, so they can play their part. And I have four of these posters around the room and when I go over to a student now, sometimes they'll say, sir, um, I have tried crowdsourcing, I've tried coming back to it, I've tried again, I've tried asking a partner. I've you know, done all the things on the three before me, um, so can you help me? And, that, and that's great, because I go over it and I no longer have to say, have you tried this, that or the other? So I think it's really important that they can be part of uh, the team by being independent as well. Um, I think that's, that's about it. So as you can see here, I've given it a title, um, and I'll save that for my next lesson. And I think I'll just show you how to highlight some of the words on Boggle, if you've not played Boggle. Who's played Boggle? Do you know what I mean by Boggle? Yeah, I should have asked that at the start, no, some people. Um, so I think I'll highlight some of the words here. So you see that they can go in any direction, backwards, forwards, as long as the, um, the letters are, are joined, diagonally or horizontally, vertically, then you can get any of those words. And as you can see, it took me about, well, less than three minutes just to prepare that. I mean, I think you can prepare it for any, any subject. Um, I can't always check it for rude words, and um, the first time I made one of these, I won't tell you the three words, but they sounded absolutely horrendous when put together, which my year nine's found straight away. So um, <laughs> I'll, I'll just leave you with the thought that, um, if you, you know, I love collaboration, and if you can get students collaborating with each other and helping each other, it leaves you more time to help with things like newborn babies and stuff like that. Thank you. <laughs>